Okay, class, welcome to Social Work 300. And in this five minute video lecture, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the quantitative problem solving method and get into a little bit of what Social Work 300 computer applications for the social sciences is actually all about. Now, you don't need to follow this video in depth um, and read every single thing right now because a lot of the material we will uh, review in class. Um, the biggest part of Social Work 300 is really about you, the student, the learner, using your critical thinking skills and problem solving skills and quantitative reasoning skills to figure out a solution to a problem or why things are the way they are. We're going to use um, a four step model, which is a problem solving model, and it basically includes problem definition, defining the problem, data collection, collecting, distributing surveys, questionnaires, um, data analysis, analyzing the data that you collect from the questionnaires that you distribute, and then communicating your findings to others. Problem definition, what we're really mainly interested in at this point in the semester or in this particular class is issues or impacts that have an impact on the survival and propagation of African Americans. And by the way, all of this information that I'm presenting to you today is in your uh, Social Work 300 workbook. We're going to look at different levels of analysis. If you're not familiar with micro, macro, meso, global levels, and which systems um, that they deal with, then we'll get a little bit more into that into the class. Um, let me go back a second. Dimensions of functioning looks at why and what forces are affecting the problem in terms of biological, psychological, social, economic, and other forms of functioning. Amenability to change. Um, this this will have you looking at, you know, looking at the magnitude, the scope, you know, how widespread is the problem, changes, has the problem changed or varied over time, and are there any differences in the problems in terms of race, sex, age, SES, sexual orientation, or disability. Problems that might affect a uh, HBCU female college student might not necessarily uh, affect a student attending a different type of university. You're going to also learn in Social Work 300 how to formulate, how to write really good uh, research questions and hypotheses. Um, for example, at the bivariate level, and I know you may not know what that means at this point in time, but it would be looking at, for example, the amount of education a person achieves affects his or her family income. So once again, we're going to review and you're going to learn how to write causal research questions and hypotheses. Data collection, once again, um, primary data is when you use questionnaires, interviews, or other techniques to get information from the respondents, the people you're surveying. And you're going to learn about how to design, uh, how to construct your questions, how to design your questionnaire, and ethical issues, of course. Secondary data, what we'll look at is uh, from different sources such as census.gov, uh, SPS data files that I have for you, um, and also sometimes searching the internet you can come up with other data files. We're going to look at how to collect uh, data information and most importantly the validity and reliability of data that you collect. Coding and analysis, we're going to look at SPSS, you're going to learn how to use SPS actually, um, and you're going to learn about univariate analyses, bivariate, multivariate, and if all this is over your head right now, don't worry about it, that's mainly the reason why you're taking the course, so that you can learn what these things mean, and how they can ultimately become useful to you in your selected major or field of study. And communicating your findings uh, through tables and graphs, um, interpreting your findings, being able to present that information to others in charts and graphs, or on websites, and or of course on Facebook or discussion boards. So I think you'll enjoy the class. I look forward to working with you. Um, and thank you for being a part of Social Work 300 Computer Applications.